Well, hello, and here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what we've been doing is we've been working on our solar power system, and uh, I've done some updates to it. I've added a new Xantrex uh, 40 amp uh, DC voltage controller, and uh, I got rid of the old controller that I had. It was starting to give me some trouble, and uh, so we've made some updates. So let me take you over here to the panel, and let's check it out. Well, this made for a lot cleaner installation, not as many wires having to go back down into the battery box that I have. This breaker here is to uh, disconnect the solar panels. I can disconnect both legs on the solar panels. And uh, by doing that, I can come in here with a uh, multimeter and check to see what my amp output is without too much trouble. So uh, I kind of opted to go with this type setup. Here coming directly off the batteries, this is my main disconnect. And uh, it's a, I've used a lot of these on big trucks, heavy trucks, and uh, it works pretty good. Uh, cleaned a lot of this up, and uh, this is my new controller. And right now it's in charging mode and so everything's progressing pretty good. Well, and what we're doing right now, the, the top meter, that is a solar panel output, and this is battery output. This meter here, that kind of records history uh, of the everything that I'm doing. Right now, since I've started this board up, I've ran 207 watt hours. And then uh, right now I'm, I'm burning just a little bit of uh, voltage off this, but not a whole lot. So it's, it's not really reading too much. But if I really, really load it, you'll see the amps go up. I'm using a pure sine wave inverter. The reason why I went with that, I was able to get it at a good price. Uh, wasn't much more than to say a modified sine wave inverter. And uh, a modified sine wave signal will not operate all late model electric powered tools. We ran into this at work and uh, so I had learned from that experience to uh, go with a pure sine wave. It's supposed to be easier on electronics and not burn up uh, TVs or stuff like that. If you're charging batteries, it's supposed to be easier on your battery charger and all that. Another upgrade that I did is from my solar panel connection box here uh, I went back with a 10 gauge wire and I felt like that would uh, be to my advantage in the future when I add additional panels up there on the top of the awning here at the shop and what we're going to do here we're going to attempt to show the two panels that I currently have Well guys, that's what I've been up to for right now, and uh, we've got some other stuff planned to take care of here in the near future. So anyway, I do appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.